Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I want to talk to you about a fascinating discovery that took place in New Mexico back in 1933. You see, a massive 90-ton stone, with the Ten Commandments engraved on it, was found there. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? But, as always, there are a few problems with this discovery that we need to unpack. First of all, the inscriptions on the stone are in ancient Hebrew. That's right, you heard me correctly. Hebrew, a language that is not indigenous to the Americas, was found engraved on this stone in New Mexico. Now, that raises some interesting questions. How did Hebrew end up on this stone in the middle of the desert in New Mexico? It's a question that has puzzled scholars for decades. But wait, it gets even more interesting. Research has established that the age of the inscriptions on the stone dates back 500 to 2000 years ago. Now, that's a long time ago folks. To put it into perspective, that's before Columbus sailed the ocean blue and discovered America. So, what does that mean? It means that if these inscriptions are indeed genuine, then, there must have been Hebrew speakers in the Americas long before Columbus ever set foot here. Now, some of you may be thinking that's impossible. How could Hebrew speakers have made their way to the Americas so long ago? It's a valid question, and one that official history has a hard time reconciling with. The idea that Hebrew was present in ancient Mexico before Columbus is not something that many historians are willing to entertain. But, let's take a step back and look at the facts. The stone is there, the inscriptions are in Hebrew, and they date back hundreds of years before Columbus. So, what could have happened? One theory is that the stone was brought to America already engraved with the Ten Commandments. However, that theory doesn't hold up under scrutiny. Specialists have already confirmed that the mineral used to create the stone is purely of local origin. That means that the stone was quarried in New Mexico and the inscriptions were made there. So, what does all of this mean? Well, it means that the Stargate theory we've been talking about lately is very possible. People at that time already had very sophisticated technology to travel great distances in the blink of an eye. We have discussed this kind of evidence before. But, what do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Are the giants a lost civilization of the distant past? Well, it's not an entirely new concept, and there's a vast amount of evidence that suggests the existence of a lost civilization of giants. Despite the abundance of discoveries and constructions that point towards their existence, the idea of giants being real is still dismissed by many. Let's take a look at some of the facts. There are a plethora of enormous structures and buildings all around the world that can be attributed to the construction skills of giants. These structures are not only massive in terms of size, but also in terms of the weight of the individual blocks used to build them. Some of these blocks weigh hundreds of tons, which is a testament to the strength and physical force required to move them. One particular place where you can see these massive structures is Malta. The Maltese islands are home to a number of impressive ancient structures, including temples and other ruins that date back thousands of years. These structures are often referred to as Cyclopean because of their sheer size, and they are thought to have been built by a race of giants who once roamed the island. 
But it's not just Malta where you can find evidence of giant civilization. In fact, all around the world, there are similar structures that suggest the existence of a lost civilization of giants. From the pyramids in Egypt to the ancient ruins in Peru, there are countless examples of structures that were built using massive blocks that could only have been moved by a race of giants. Not to mention the evidence of the paintings drawn there. Moreover, in addition to these structures, there are also a number of large skeletons that have been discovered over the years. These skeletons are not just a few inches taller than the average human, but they measure in at an incredible 5 to 8 meters in height. While many of these finds are dismissed as fakes or hoaxes by the mainstream narrative, there is no doubt that there are real skeletons out there that suggest a race of giants existed. Interestingly, even in more recent history, there are accounts of people who were incredibly tall. In fact, some people hundreds of years ago were said to have been 3 to 5 meters in height. If people could be that tall in the past, then why is it so hard to believe that giants could have existed? Despite all this evidence, there are still many people in denial who refuse to accept the possibility of giants having lived on Earth. Some argue that the idea of giants is just a myth or a legend, and that the evidence can be explained by other means. Others suggest that the large skeletons that have been found are the result of medical conditions or abnormalities, rather than the remains of a race of giants. So, are the giants a lost civilization of the distant past? The evidence certainly suggests that it's a possibility. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.